You said we didn't see much spunk last night from the Cincinnati defense. We did hear a little chatter from Cam Taylor Britt the days before the game. And this, this, does this ever end well? Does it ever Never. end well when a guy pops off? What Cam Taylor Britt said about the commanders last week, about specifically quarterback Jaden Daniels, they don't make him do a lot. They keep it really simple for him. Nice college offense, Cliff Kingsbury, the O.C., and, of course, it was Cam Taylor Britt, one of two Bengals defenders, who got burned by Terry McLaurin for the 55-yard pass that was like the first holy crap moment of the night from Jaden Daniels. They mentioned on the broadcast that he'd never thrown a ball that far in the air at college and clearly hadn't done it so far in the NFL. And I, I, can, I can only imagine what Belichick would say to you guys ahead of time to avoid that kind of verbal diarrhea and what he would do on the back end if it ever happened. I don't remember it ever happening that anybody from the Patriots ever popped off about it kind, anything. It kind of happened. Kind of happened. Well, 2010. I remember one Last time. I, yep, yep, I remember, yep, I remember that. Yep. <laughs> yep. The agony and, of defeat. Yep. He's, and he, he sat him for the first quarter of the game, which – I didn't agree with it. For one, it was, it was hilarious. Classic moment. But <laughs> <laughs> I will say when I saw Cam Taylor Britt's comments and I know after the game, he said it wasn't malicious. It, like, yes, that is. You're saying that for a reason. You're giving your opinion and his opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. You watch the film. You guys are in there talking about it as a defense. That's what you think. You want to go out there and you want to put it in the air and say it, fine by me. You better go and back it up. And you call it, he didn't, what he did the week before, he talked about Worthy, Xavier Worthy from Kansas City. He's just fast. That's a one-on-one -on -one matchup for Cam Taylor Britt. He got Worthy one-on-one, -on -one, made an, I mean, unbelievable one-handed catch interception. Hey, respect to that. What he said last week to me was he put the whole defense on watch, on notice. The, as they say, as the young people say now, the defense needed to stand on business. Once he says that, he calls this offense simple, and then you go out there and the guy only has two incompletions for a simple offense, quick throws, easy throws, and after the game, he says, and that's what they really did do, quick, easy throws. He scrambled a little bit, a couple, you know, only two shots. But you knew that coming in because you called it simple. You said that's what they were going to do. So now you're either saying Lou Anarano didn't prepare you guys. He didn't get you in the right defenses to stop it. Or you guys didn't come and execute your defense because they did exactly what you thought they were going to do. And they were highly successful at it. To me, was really saying we weren't ready to play. Like That to me was the most ridiculous thing. It'd be different if Jaden Daniels came out and just everything he did was just like this out of control. Lamar Jackson runs for over 100 yards. Like, he came out and did exactly what they talked about he was going to do, other than he took advantage of one-on-one -on -one matchups at the corner position, where Cam Taylor Britt plays and Dax Hill plays. So when you go out there and you say those things, you just better be ready, and not just you, but your whole unit better be ready to say, Hey, we love what Cam Taylor Britt said. We ride with him. We are all about, like, I don't think the defense liked it either because if they did, they would have came out and backed it up a little better than they did last night. So I've always hated it. I'm not a fan of it. But if you do it and that's who you are, that's what your personality says. Jamar Chase is a little bit like that. He'll go out and say it. And then he comes and backs it up. You got to go do that. You can't say that and then let a quarterback be 21 of 23 for 200 some yards and two touchdowns. That's ridiculous. We told you earlier what Cam Taylor Britt had to say last week. Here's what he said in the locker room after the loss. Headlines with your comments about the commander's offense this mm -hmm. week. Do you regret what you said? And can you talk us through what happened from a defensive standpoint tonight? No, ma'am, I do not regret it. Um, and I didn't mean anything malicious out of the comment. Uh, it was just made bigger than what it was. Um, yes, I can eat my words most definitely. Uh, we did take a, a hell today. But as a team, uh, it was sort of caught us off of very quick, uh, quick throws. Uh, he's very athletic in his same plays. Uh, and that's how the game went, man. They stuck to their, their plan, and yeah, that's how it went.
nice college offense is derisive. Nice college offense is disrespectful. And to go back to something you said earlier about how dialed in the Washington receivers were, don't you think that helped them get more dialed in? That's the benefit of bulletin board material. Oh, we don't listen to outside noise. Yeah, and we listen to every. We soak it up like gravy with bread. We want all the outside noise because it helps us get to where we need to be. It helps us commit to all the things we need to do, not just during the game. You know how this goes. All the little things that no one's paying attention to, getting to bed on time, watching extra film, being (laughs) properly hydrated, all those stupid little boxes that you have to check that have no immediate glory, no gratification attached to them. When someone pisses you off, It gets you to do all that stuff that you'd really rather not do, so you are dialed in. And it was a sign that the Bengals weren't dialed in. They should have been focused on one thing and one thing only, scoring more points than the Commanders last night and not saying anything, not doing anything other than getting themselves ready to play. So the pendulum there is Cam Taylor Bridge showed us he, and by implication, his teammates weren't as ready as they should have been and as focused as they could have been, and he helped the commanders get even more focused than they already might have been. There's a reason people call football the ultimate team sport, and what ends up happening is everyone has different individual goals during a season and what you want to do, and I would go out on a limb and say Monday night, Washington, young team, don't get many primetime games like you said earlier. Right now they have one more primetime standalone game. Everybody's probably thinking about, all right, how do I prove I am who I am? Terry McLaurin, I'm sure he wants to be recognized as one of the best in the league. Jaden Daniels, he wants to prove everybody what he what he can do as a rookie. Austin Eckler wants to show everybody, hey, I'm still a good running back. Don't write me off. Brian Robinson wants to be a household name. Like all of these little things. What happens when Cam Taylor Britt says that? Everyone forgets about any of that stuff. They now have one goal, one mission to prove what he said wrong. Everybody is dialed in now on that one thing. It just helps so much. 2022, my last season in New England, we play against the Arizona Cardinals. Vance Joseph, the defensive coordinator for the Cardinals, he says... Hey, yeah, like the Patriots offense, it it looks like a defensive play caller is calling the plays. Some truth about it, maybe. Yep, defensive coordinator Matt Patricia was calling the plays. But what that did for the offense, it brought everybody in there to say, hey, let's play and prove what we have going on. Let's play for that. Let's play for some respect. They disrespected us. That gave that gave the offense enough fuel, no matter how bad it was going, what happened the previous week, to say, let's just dial in right now and prove to them what this so-called defensive offense looks like. And I think that's what Washington said. Oh, we're a college offense. Let us show you what a college offense can do to a so-called really good NFL defense. And that to me, and maybe it is in my 13 years playing with Bill Belichick, I don't, there's no reason to try to enlist and say, hey, entice another team's best shot. Why? If they want to come out and not be locked in, let them do it. Let's just go get a win and move on to next week, where I think Cincinnati and Cam Taylor, they invited the best shot, and then they weren't ready to answer Washington's best shot, which I think for Cincinnati, the staff, the fan base, that was the disappointing part of Monday night, a chance to show everybody, hey, we're good. We understand it's not how we want to start. We're going to go win. They fell short, and that that was very disappointing last night. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.